From an amazing hybrid that needs a lot of attention and care, interesting species such as zebroids or mixes of cats and cheetahs, to an unbelievably rare cross between a jaguar and a lion, check out these 10 hybrid animals you wouldn't believe exist. Let's get it on. Number 10. Geep. Geeps, or shouts, are truly heartwarming hybrids for sure. Have you ever seen something as cute as this? These hybrids are a result of mixing sheep and goats. You should know that most hybrids, no matter which species they are a mix of, are often sterile, but what makes geep stand out is that they are sometimes fertile, as some cases of geep reproduction have been reported in New Zealand. You won't believe some of the amazing facts about geeps. For example, geeps are very difficult to breed, and mixing a male goat and female sheep usually won't result in conception, with occasional exceptions, of course. If you try breeding them the other way around, the results will be similar, as most embryos of such kind are gonna die in two months or less, meaning that geeps are usually sentenced to death from the very beginning. How unfair. Poor things. Geeps are often confused with sheep goat chimeras, but unlike sheep goat chimeras, geeps are not artificially created. Number 9. Zebroid. Check out this one because it's gonna make your jaw drop. Even though it sounds like a villain character from a cartoon, it's not. It's just a hybrid animal. Zebroids were popular in the early 20th century as demand for horses began decreasing due to the car industry development. Zebroids represent a breed of male zebras and horse mares. Unfortunately, they are infertile, and since they artificially produce in Africa, you're probably wondering why in the world anyone would mix these two animals. Well, the answer is simple. The goal was to create an animal resistant to diseases transferred by CC flies as zebras have a natural immunity to these diseases and horses don't. Nowadays, zebroids, thanks to their exceptional endurance, are commonly used for long trips, such as a trip to Mount Kenya. Number 8. Cheeto Cat Can you think of a more fierce looking and kind behaving animal than a Cheeto Cat? Probably not. It's a cross between a Bengal Cat and an Aussie Cat. And in case you don't know, a Bengal cat is actually a cross between an Asian leopard cat and a house cat. But back to the Cheeto cat, this hybrid animal was first developed in 2001 by a woman named Carol Dryman. Carol wanted a pet that had the kind, friendly, and loving behavior of a house cat, and the exotic appearance of a wild cat, and that's exactly what she got. Cheeto cats behave the same as any other ordinary house cat, but they look wild. They only look wild though. They don't share any other characteristics with wild cats, which is why they can be very good pets. Anyhow, they're very expensive and their price can even reach up to $2,000. Just try to imagine how cool it would be to take a Cheeto cat for a walk outside in the neighborhood. Everybody would be staring. Number 7. Zoe. The next astonishing hybrid animal is the Zoe. Zoe is a cross between domestic cattle and yak. It is mostly bred in mountain regions such as the Himalayas and Tibet and is used for carrying weights under unfavorable conditions. Zoe is the most suitable option for that as it is very durable and it doesn't have any problems breathing diluted air in extremely high locations. Additionally, it is also used as a working animal on farms. Some Zoes are fertile while others are not. This hybrid animal has characteristics of both cows and yaks. For example, a long, fat coat typical for yaks, and they usually have cow-like faces. Zoe can produce a lot of drinkable milk and also represent a huge source of meat. Zoe maintenance is not demanding as it only eats plants and doesn't seek any specific diet. Number 6. Chusky Another adorable animal hybrid on our list is the Chusky. The Chusky is a beautiful mix of Chow Chow and yeah, you've guessed it, Husky. Because of its fluffy fur, it is very suitable for cold weather. Chuskies are also among the most popular pets thanks to their amazing looks, but they are also very demanding as they seek a lot of attention. If not treated properly, their energy can take a turn for the worse, making them very destructive and stubborn. In addition, they are very expensive and taking care of them can also be a challenge. If handled correctly, Chuskies tend to be very playful and loving, but they are also very protective of their owner. Don't try to get one if you are inexperienced and impatient. After all you've heard, don't you think Chusky is an adequate pet for you? Number 5. Hinny You've likely heard of mules, the famous mix of a male donkey and a female horse. 
but have you heard of hennies? Hennies are a less famous breed coming from a female donkey and a male horse. Even if you come across them, you wouldn't know it, because it takes a sharp eyesight and experience to spot the difference between these two hybrids. However, hennies are slightly smaller than mules, and their ears also tend to be smaller. Hennies also appear to be somewhat calmer. They're widely used in South America for transporting products since they are very strong and durable. But sadly, they're very rare because it's very difficult to breed them, and most tries are unsuccessful. Number 4. Koi Wolf If you thought that the Cheeto Cow was exotic and intimidating, just wait until you see the Koi Wolf. The Koi Wolf is a rare hybrid that you wouldn't believe exists, and it is a result of mixing a coyote and a wolf. This breed is the oldest one on this list because it originates back to the 19th century. Approximately, this species contains about 60 characteristics of a coyote, 25% of a wolf, and possibly 15% of a dog. Koi wolves have colorful coats and are slightly larger than coyotes, but slightly smaller than wolves. Besides that, they can be dangerous predators thanks to their muscular bodies, strong legs, and jaws. They are used to urban life, which is why they are not scared of humans, but they will never attack first, as long as they don't feel in danger. So if you ever run into one, just don't disturb them. Number 3. Jag Lion Just when you thought it couldn't get more interesting, we are here to prove you wrong. Take a look at the Jag Lion or Jaguan, a cross between a male Jaguar and a female lion. It is a relatively new species, and the first Jag Lion was bred unexpectedly and by accident in a sanctuary in 2006. It's the rarest hybrid animal out there since there are only two of them in the world. Both located in Canada, no female Jaguars and male lions have ever bred as far as we can tell. So these numbers are probably not just gonna go up. Jag Lions are very big and have dark fur with some orange circles on them, and out for his sight, they look bloodthirsty but it turns out that they are very playful and friendly, meaning that they are just exceptionally big cats. Never mind their behavior, just look at them. Would you be eager to adopt a jag lion? Number 2. Paisley Bear Let's see what we have next. This is a Growler Bear, also known as Paisley Bear or Nanilac, and it is a hybrid of a female polar bear and a male grizzly bear. Specific weather conditions made those two endangered species move from their natural habitat, resulting in them crossing paths and mating. Scientists say that this is not a bad thing at all since polar bears are near extinction, so mating with grizzlies can be an adequate option for saving their genes in a new hybrid animal, the growler bear. This was expected to happen, but more gradually. It is happening far faster than expected due to abnormal climate change. Roller bears are usually smaller than polar bears, but bigger than grizzlies. Number 1. Santa Gertrudis Bull Wow, our thumbnail photo for today is unbelievable. It shows a humongous bull, so big and unusual that you won't believe it exists. It looks like it's multiple times bigger than a human, and maybe even twice the size than a normal domestic bull. Is it some kind of special hybrid animal? Turns out that it's a hybrid of a brahmin and shorthorn coming from Texas. Named Santa Gertrudis, the main goal of mixing those two was to make a breed that can accommodate hot and dry conditions. Santa Gertrudis is also widely used because of its life expectancy, which is a few years longer than ordinary cows. Besides that, it has a cherry red color and occasional white patches on its body. On top of that, it is easily milked, altogether making it a very favorable cattle breed. What was your favorite animal from today's video? Let us know in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.